Today on Minecrafts, mixing kitchen gear with paint. What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to see the colander painting trick that you see all over Pinterest. How's it going to turn out? Probably not good. But you're just going to have to wait and find out. Here on Okay, so I really wanted to try this pin for a while, and uh, I'm not an artist per se. I have an artistic flair, I guess, but... So I picked up this colander from Walmart, it was pretty cheap. I also picked up these acrylic paints from Walmart, they were pretty cheap. So I immediately start putting the paint into the colander, and as you can see, it's very thick. And it globbed in, and didn't pour in like it does in the pin. So I immediately knew I had a problem. I got some water in a cup, and decided to mix the paint with that water. As you can see, I'm an idiot and it made it even worse. Yeah, that's great. Yep. So yeah, let's use our finger. Um, don't know where that technique came from. Probably third grade. So I decided to take some cups, put some water in, and then mix some acrylic paint. I poured it, and whoa, wow, look at that, it's too watery. So I completely missed the mark too thick now it's too watery oh and look I've got chunks there too so yep there's the finger trick again and well at this point I realized that the pin was screwed and I decided to go for a plan B which was well let's do something abstract new wave new age and uh, basically I decided to keep the color scheme because my mother really likes peacocks and uh, these are the colors for peacocks I kept these colors, decided to do something abstract. I didn't have many painting equipment in the house. So as you can see, I used a fork. Very creative. At this point, I ditched the colander. It was just more of a pain in the ass than it was anything else. So I got rid of it. Oh, and here's the cloth I used to try to glob up some of the paint. Uh, most really serious artists use this technique when they screw up very badly. Um, that was also a delight to put in the wash. It messed up my washing machine. So at this point I decided to use the knife and kind of just go for it. I had a peacock in mind, decided to kind of keep the color scheme and as the white up there is the mane of the bird. And then I kind of just went for it. Playing some music in my headphones and had a good old time just um, well, yeah, here's the colander again. Yeah, there we go. At this point, I decided, okay, uh, it's looking like a bird. Let's just make it what it is. Gave it a little tail, gave it some feet. Then I used this uh, light blue here as the spots, like they're on a peacock, you know, kind of thing. I was having a good time. It actually is pretty cathartic, and I have to say, if anybody gets the chance to try it, just try it. I was uh, nervous about giving it a go. But the canvases are pretty cheap. I bought them at Walmart. Obviously, I'll leave all the links for everything in the description below. But it is fun. And I'm going to try a lot more of these different techniques. Okay, this step here involves half-inch offset mounting canvas Z-clips. I'll leave the description in the link below. But basically, all you're going to do here is mount these Z-clips so then you can mount the canvas to the frame. Okay, now the, <laughs> all right. So what started out as an attempt to recreate the colander painting trick has turned into an abstract art lesson using a fork and a knife. So, I mean, that happened. But, I don't know, it's pretty cool. And I give it to my mom and she's gonna love it anyway, so. Stick with me, we're just gonna throw a mount. I'll show you how to do the uh, spacing mounts on the frame and that'll be it. Gotta sign this thing too. Johnny G. Okay, so now we're gonna take the canvas, which has the half-inch Z-clips already mounted, and we're going to mount it and screw it into the frame. Because remember, the frame has no back. So by screwing this in, it's securing and allows us to hang on the wall. So yes, this piece was done with a fork and a knife and uh, a small little ruler. That's it, that's all it was used. Started out trying to use the colander, the colander thing that you see on Pinterest. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. 
but I'm sure somebody out there can tell me. Uh, so I just ended up kind of scratching the idea and doing an abstract piece anyway. It's got the colors that I wanted and it'll still be a pretty cool gift to my mom. So, all right. Thanks again for tuning in to Mancrafts. I appreciate all your support. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to also hit that alert button. Happy Mother's Day out there. Take care. Remember we love you here on Mancrafts. Later. Bye, Mom. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> So anytime that I put on a new video, that's my dishwasher. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, darling. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> that's all the voice that you do. Remember to like and subscribe.